The longest stage of the Giro d'Italia, 219 kilometers to a finish in Tortona and an opportunity after their frustrations yesterday for the sprinters teams to get themselves organized. Lawrence Rex attacking after the flag drop in Camaiore and taking with him a group of five other riders to make it a sextet up the road, including two from Team Corotec. And it was Velko Stoinic who sprinted to victory at the first of the intermediate sprints. At the back then, another duel between Maz Pedersen and Emilio Ciclamino, Jonathan Milan, extending his advantage over Pedersen in the Malio Ciclamino. But Stoinic, the best from the breakaway, as he was at the first climb of the day as well. Out sprinting the other climbers to take a maximum of nine points atop the first of the two Cat 3 climbs. As the Trofeo Senza Fino was transported alongside a calm peloton at this point. Then it was Stoinich once more to take another nine points at the top of the next Cat 3 climb. At this point, Stoinich winning every single one of the preens en route from the breakaway. And then high drama on the wet descent off that climb. The Maglia Rosa down, following the wheel of Alessandro Covi, but Theo Gegenhardt at third place in the general classification, in the back of an ambulance and off the race. In the meantime, at the front of the race, Stoinich took the final climb of the day. As they headed towards the finish line, maximum points for Stoinich in the King of the Mountains competition. Then he and Rex went clear. Stoinich sat up, that left Rex on his own, but he too was swallowed up as the bunch came back for a sprint. A very technical finale then with a tight right-hander, downhill all the way to the finish line. Milan, Ackerman, Cavendish and Pedersen, and it was Ackerman who just got there ahead of a fast finishing Jonathan Milan by the narrowest of margins. A first win for the German in 2023. Yeah, I think uh, that's a really, really special victory for me, especially after my broken coccyx last year. I'm finally back and I felt super amazing in the last days, but I never could draw off how, how strong I am. Today I got the first time a teammate to, to bring me to a good position and we showed up that we can do it and I'm super, super happy to, happy to win today my first victory of the season. Ackerman taking the victory for UAE Team Emirates, the first win for that team here, ahead of Jonathan Milan and the rapidly improving Mark Cavendish in third place. Geraint Thomas still the race leader, but now without his teammate Theo Gegenhardt, forced to abandon the race. That means that Jao Almeida moves up into third.